Hey, Janet. What we're looking at here is the Brisbane River around the turn of the century, because down there is the pumping station, right up near that boat shed, the pumping station that pumped the salt water up into the salt water reservoir at Leichhardt Street. I've done a video on this before, but this contains a little more information that has come to me. Here's the access hatch in the back in the 1970s, and uh, this is what the reservoir looked like. Now, let's have a look at it in detail, because there's more to this than meets the eye. It's T Rox here again out in the field, T Rox's natural location. Walking along Wickham Terrace, heading towards St Andrews Hospital. What we're doing is we're heading towards today the junction of Wickham Terrace and Leichhardt Street. And uh, this is pretty unusual in Brisbane's history, and not many people know about it. But around the end of the uh, 1800s, Brisbane had a problem. It was filthy, and they needed water to clean it and uh, fresh water was quite rare this the thing we're going to look at today is a reservoir that was built solely for the storage of salt water so we'll get into that a little more in a bit but hey just before we do in front of st andrews here's some stones now come on all you geo nerds what type of stone is this it's sandstone where's it from well pretty obviously this one's from helidon uh, St Andrews must have wanted a wall that people wouldn't drive through because these things are nearly a metre thick. They're not going anywhere, I'll tell you that. So anyway, what we'll do now is we're going to have a quick prayer to Trevor, the god of traffic lights, and see if we can actually get across this road. But what we're looking at here is the Roman Street Parklands, and uh, we spin around, and everything you see with bitumen on it here is a reservoir underneath that road. So people are walking on this every day. They don't know it's all hollow. They drive on it. They're doing what they do every day, and it's just completely hollow. And it was built for the Spring Hill Baths and to supply a saltwater reticulation system that ran down through the city to clean the drains with and to make the place a better place to live. Now, if you look on the road in front of St Andrews, there's all these drain covers, access covers. They're not drains anymore. And there's lots of them on this side, and we'll look at a few on the other side as well. Uh, and it's just unusual, there's just so many access because the reservoir is no longer used for water storage, it's now used for electrical and data communication. So, as you can see, they've got to get the stuff in and out of it. Uh, our prayer's been answered from Trevor, the god of traffic lights. We've got a green man and away we go. So we're just walking across, um, this is actually right here, Wickham Terrace, Leichhardt Street, and it's just on the other side of the intersection there. And uh, we're just walking through and uh, in the garden bed in front of us here, is all the paraphernalia for getting in and out of this thing. So there's a vent there, uh, there's a few entrances here, there's a handrail there because there's a set of stairs go down there, and this is a big uh, entrance for machinery, etc. larger hole, uh, not really used much anymore. There is some machinery down there, but there's not much of it. And uh, I said when they open these doors up here, these flaps, it's a, it's a set of stairs. You just walk down like you're walking down someone's back steps, straight into this reservoir. So it runs all around here. Now to put water into this thing, they had a big turbine pump down the bottom of Turbot Street and underneath those roads, Upper Albert Street, etc. There are nine inch uh, pipes and they used to pump the water up from the river and they'd store it up here. And then when they needed to flush drains and to fill the swimming pools all the way down to Wickham Street in the valley, the pool down there. Anyway, I'll find you some photos now. Let's see what we can see on that. So here we've got some uh, black and white photos to give it the oldie authenticity look, but I couldn't find any colour ones of the inside of the reservoir. And you see this thing is really well built uh, and it's got beautifully uh, vaulted ceilings. They're not stone, I think they're made out of poured concrete, but nevertheless it's nice and strong. 
and there's a few more shots here you can see over to the back if you look right over the back there you can see those stairs I was showing you that you walk down from those stairs so this is right underneath the intersection and uh, it's a fairly big structure it's you know 15 20 feet high this was built in 1916 17 it was in use by 17 and it was out of use by 1960 that was when they electrically converted now here you can see they put a false ceiling in it made out of uh roofing iron so that if any water did leak in it wouldn't get on the electrical gear pretty good plan i reckon you can see some uh transformers over in the background there and um, the uh, a little close-up of the transformers here in a minute we can actually see these things these were 11 kv transformers and they were just down there to get them out of the way uh, and i think they're still down there i don't know if they're in use but certainly what's happened now is there's lots of optic fiber and other telecommunications gear so this reservoir was big this thing held a million liters of water and it could be pumped up daily by a massive electric turbine pump. It was spread around through these standpipes all around the city. This is the only one left now. Now this pump was down by the river. Not exactly sure where, but it was about here. So if you go underneath the uh, North Quay bikeway there, it was there. Probably about here. There's the Albert Street power station in front of us there. Oh, sorry, Adelaide Street power station. Uh, maybe somewhere like uh, here, if you are down on the river. And this thing would pump the water up. And during the war, of course, they needed firefighting. These pipes carry that salt water. All the firefighting in, during the war was done with salt water. Not that they did any, but even so, if they had to, they would have. Here's the last standpipe sitting up there, just near the old windmill, back up the road slightly. So why did it stop? Well, the problem was they saved a thousand quid a year, but it was costing them nearly 25,000 quid a year with the damage it was doing to the tram system, rusting the rails, damaging the switching gear, and more importantly, it wasn't doing the trams any good either. So they stopped using it and they stopped using it in the 1930s and they drained the reservoir and took it out of use in the 1960s and converted it into an electrical switch room. And uh, nowadays it carries optic fiber and a whole bunch of data communication. So there you go. If you're ever standing up there one day, you're standing above that reservoir, it's below you. And most people, thousands of people go past it every day, don't even know it's there. And again, folks, this is the way this photo came to me from the Queensland uh, archives. And I did a bit of work to it for you because frankly, you know, you deserve better than that. Uh, I enjoy it. It's like cracking bubble wrap. Anyway, keep, keep rocking. T-Rocks rock. out. out.